for you guys tonight, Zach. You guys have only allowed one goal in the last four matches. Uh, what's been going well for you guys defensively? Just a bunch of guys working for each other. Um, you know, uh, Delmi was just asking how it was feeling. I'm mentally exhausted more than physically. Uh, I pride myself on trying to put these guys in the right spots to not only make my job easier, but theirs. And uh, I think we've got uh, 11 dedicated guys on the field at all times, and that's showing up uh, with all the shutouts that we're having. You mentioned being a little exhausted. You guys have the Open Cup coming up as well, and Pablo mentioned possibly rotating some guys in and out. What do you expect from that tournament and kind of the increased uh, number of matches going forward? Yeah, I think uh, our team got a little bit of a taste of the Open Cup last year. We're getting so close in the semis, and uh, you know, to come away, you know, going into OT with Houston last year, that it gives us more motivation to take this as seriously as possible and really make another run at it this year. Zach, earlier Pablo was talking about how you guys, as a defense, if you guys can keep keep it zeros, that having a guy like Chicho up front and the other guys up up there, they they allow you guys to have the confidence that if you guys keep a clean sheet, you know, they're going to they're gonna score on the other end. What's it like to be able to have confidence in the, the guys at the other end of the field like that? Yeah, it's uh, it's really nice. Obviously, you know, as soon as Chicho arrived, I think he changed that dynamic for our team. I thought we always were pretty solid defensively, and sometimes we struggled to find a goal sometimes in games like tonight. And... Uh, He's obviously done super well this year and really helped us last year. And credit to him and everyone up up top making things happen tonight. So, so I talked to Pablo this a little bit earlier, and I'd like to, to hear your take on it. We talk about how comfortable you are with the ball on your feet now. And he, we kind of describe it as attacking from the back to move forward. Can you just elaborate a little more on that? Yeah, that's uh, something we kind of changed this year in preseason, trying to not get on the ball more, but just be an option for the defenders and the way we build out. Um, I feel super comfortable back there. I think the defenders feel comfortable playing me the ball at all times. And I think it's, uh, it's really helped us and created a, more of a, a dynamic attack starting with me. Uh, uh, Pau also has said that it will take everyone and the team to, to get far in this season and to hopefully get championship. Now with the cup coming up, you know, do you talk to Gavin and, and stuff like that and how you, your communications are with him, you know, and, and being in goal? Yeah, I think uh, Mirza, obviously, uh, as a new, you know, goalkeeper coach for me, uh, has done a great job communicating with Gavin and I. And, uh, you know, I think Gavin's going to play on Wednesday and it's a great opportunity for him to continue, you know, getting experience in his career. And, uh, you know, just as good of a teammate as he is to me tonight, I'm always going to be a good teammate to him and we're going to continue to push each other and, push everyone and help this team move forward. Congratulations on the victory. Um, playing SKC, Kansas City, it looked like it turned out to be an old style RSL Kansas City rivalry game. Do you enjoy those games and do you see them as a rival? Yeah, definitely see them as a rival. I think they've always prevented a, a tough test for us over the years. Um, and honestly, you know, a little bit of shoving kind of started by us, but it you know, we kind of talked about that, you know, at halftime, like bring the fans into the game, bring our energy up. I don't think our energy was great in the first half. And maybe, you know, doing that in the first five minutes of the second half really got us going and was the reason we ended up pulling away there. Solid start to the season. Where do you think the team could improve? The defense is playing solid. You're not giving up a lot of goals. But where do you think you could make the most improvement moving forward? It'd be great if we scored more goals. <laughs> That's obviously the easiest way to to you know win games is scoring goals but uh i think uh continuing to to play our style play our way to be brave in the way we play and uh hopefully you know the goals keep coming and we find goals from you know more than just chicho and we can get guys on a little bit of a hot streak uh zach the save of the match was uh basically a cross that you got down quick and blocked um is it great to have a few saves here and there is it nice to not really have to have a lot of saves in the game what do you prefer um somewhere in between uh no it's uh like i said mentally to stay you know locked in in the game uh you know i think they were kind of playing for a little bit of a transition game so just trying to stay attached to the back line and, and help them as, as much as possible but 
Uh, I thought I had a, a good rhythm in the game tonight where, you know, not seeing so many shots didn't really affect me as much. Um, whereas last week, I think against Philadelphia, I felt a little bit more uncomfortable in the, in the game just because of the way it turned out. But uh, obviously, the guys did a great job in front of me and, you know, kudos to them. Does that help to have them play the ball to your feet and then play it out and run around a bit more? Yeah, it certainly help? it helps keep me involved in the game. And sometimes I, I yell at Justin to pass me the ball just to pass me the ball so I can't, can't get a couple of touches. Um, <laughs> And, and it's good. I, I think that definitely helped keep me engaged tonight. And uh, yeah, that, that's a great way to stay involved. Anyone else in the room for Zach? Go ahead. Hey Zach, real quick. Last year, the Open Cup seemed to kind of get us out of an early season funk. And you, we had. Sorry, last year's Open Cup run, we had, I think, 32 players appear. We were unbeaten in 21 of 24 games after kind of a rough start. So I guess, can you just talk to generally how these other competitions and playing Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, and having everybody kind of ready to go either Wednesday or Saturday kind of helps keep the group engaged? Yeah, I think Pablo talks about about it quite a bit um, that, you know, at the beginning of the year, we're going to need everyone. And last year was a good example of that. I think that would be the same this year. You know, the reason our, you know, starting lineup does so well, and I think we've been doing so well, is because the second 11 push us every week. And those guys are more than ready to step in if called upon. And I think you will see, obviously, a little bit of rotation for the Open Cup game. But those guys are in a great position to, to win that game and continue to push us. Because even though it's maybe a couple different players here or there, uh, we need to keep this momentum going. Vera being suspended both games this week in both competitions. Pablo shouted out that he really liked what he saw in 20 minutes from Philip in Chicago. What have you seen from him in a, a couple of weeks of training around the team now? I think Phil's been really good. I think he's gelled well with the guys since coming in. Obviously, coming from a team like Columbus, who is a, a ball playing team, very comfortable uh, with the ball at his feet, and I think he will slot in there hopefully, you know, relatively easily. And um, obviously, having a guy that big, you know, should be dangerous on set pieces and help out defensively. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how he does over longer minutes. Thank you. Anyone on Zoom have questions for Zach? Maybe. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Get home safe.